you're going to now answer the question explain how the land identity and the dreaming are inextricably linked in the lives of aboriginal peoples so first of all explain is cause and effect uh, we've got those three key areas of indigenous spirituality and culture we've got the land identity and the dreaming and this idea of something being inextricably linked means first and foremost that there is a relationship between these three aspects but the fact that they are inextricably linked means that uh, if you take one of those aspects away then the other two crumble so if you take the land away uh, then Aboriginal people obviously they lose their identity and they obviously lose their dreaming if you take the dreaming away, then their identity crumbles and their understanding of their land, um, their spiritual understanding of the land, dies with it. So if we have a quick look at well, what this short answer response is going to be, going to focus on the links between these three key features, the links in between them. Firstly, you're going to brainstorm as many links as you can between the dreaming and an Aboriginal person's identity. And a big hint is kinship. Next, you're going to brainstorm as many links as you can think of between an Aboriginal person's identity and the land. And then you're going to brainstorm as many links as you can between the land and the dreaming. So once you've done that, you'll kickstart with a topic sentence. And that topic sentence needs to identify these three aspects and the fact that they are inextricably linked. The fact that if you take away one, the, the whole system crumbles. And then you're going to use these different relationships to form the key points in your paragraph. 